Rogue Land Township Chevrolet for another uh, edition of Shop Talk. I'm going to go over uh, tire pressure monitor systems with you guys today. Uh, we get people coming in all the time. Obviously, you have a tire pressure light on this time of year with the drop in air temperature and stuff. So just give you guys some quick information on how it works and uh, what to look for and what to be aware of when you have the system on your car. So the old tire pressure monitor systems, the first ones that came out, a lot of those used they were an indirect system, so they used the actual wheel speed to determine whether or not your tire was low on air. Uh, there was obviously less parts to that system because vehicles already had wheel speed sensors on them at that point to measure the speed, um, but they weren't as accurate. So what it would do is a tire that was obviously low on air would travel uh, quicker than a tire that was full of air because of the circumference of the tire. So, once they got rid of that system, they went to the system that would have something like this in here, which would be inside your tire, and it actually measures the air pressure in each tire. Uh, here in Canada, it's displayed as kilopascals normally on your dash. Um, one thing to be aware of, kilopascals, there's uh, just about seven kilopascals per pound of air tire. So, and also another thing to keep in mind, just kind of rule of thumb is, for every 10 degrees of temperature, it drops. Uh, you'll show one pound or, or seven kilopascals less on your dash. So you get quite a fluctuation if you're watching the tire pressure monitors on your DIC. Um, so don't be too alarmed if you see it going up 14 or, or t even 28 kilopascals in the difference. Or you see one tire that's maybe uh, has more air pressure than another tire, even just the sunlight directly on the black rubber tire can increase and decrease uh, increase the pressure inside the tire. So. They put these systems on here for a couple of reasons. One, obviously fuel mileage, your tire that's full of air will, will roll easier, so it helps your fuel mileage. It'll help with your tire wear. If you have a lack of, uh, of air pressure in your tires, you'll get uh, wear on the outside edge of your tires, and if you have too much air pressure, you'll wear out the inside of your tire. So they do that for, for that as well, and obviously braking and handling. Uh, tires that um, are low in air or one that's low in air, compared to another, it can cause the car to pull one way or the other. It can also cause it to handle differently and it's pretty important because realistically these this rubber is the only touching the road uh, on your vehicle. So you want this obviously tread, you want good, you want it wearing good, uh, you want the proper air pressure, you want it rolling free and doing what it should. So one thing to keep in mind, if you are driving a vehicle that displays where each, uh, what, what the pressure is in each tire on your vehicle, um, some manufacturers, they, they can learn that themselves just by driving them. Other manufacturers, they have to be learned, the sensors have to be learned. Our GMs have to, sensors have to be relearned and that's what this tool here is for. So when you bring your vehicle in and we're doing a tire rotation, or if you're doing a tire rotation at home or another shop or whoever does it, um, if they don't relearn the, top, the, the, the position of each sensor, uh, it may be displaying incorrect uh, so it may show a right rear tire, let's say, for instance, that's showing uh, three pounds down in air pressure. You go to the garage, you, you grab the hose, you fill it up, and it's still showing it's down three pounds of pressure. Well, it might not be the right rear that's out. It might be one of the other tires. So this machine goes around, we put it in learn mode, and we select each tire to let it know where the location of the tire is. So every time you have your, your tires rotated or you do a swap of your uh, winters to your summer tires, this should always be performed. It only takes a couple of minutes. Uh, we, we do it in the drive through with some of our customers that come in that need it done, um, so it's, that's not a big deal either. So, so the key things I guess for customers to remember is you're going to see fluctuations in your dash, you're going to see slightly different pressures from left to right or front to back depending on temperatures or where the sun is, um, and you want to make sure that these are the locations are correct. So uh, if your tire light is on uh, because of a fault or one of these sensors aren't reading correctly, it will show you that on your dash. These sensors do have a lifespan because there is a battery internal to them. The old sensors were live all the time and transmitted a signal to the module 24-7. Uh, the new sensors now are a little smarter than that. What they do is they only check when it's being rotated. So as soon as the vehicle comes to rest and these sensors have not moved for a certain period of time, whether it be five minutes or 10 minutes, they'll actually go to sleep and shut themselves down to, to save some battery life. So. Um, yeah, I guess that's all you need to know on tire pressure monitor systems and uh, if you're having any uh, lights come on or any uh, malfunctions in that, you just come down and see us and we'll be more than happy to look after that for you. Uh, this is Earl Glant, Shop Foreman here at Township, another edition of Shop Talk. Thank you.